All right, now let's look at problem number 49. In number 49, I'd like to find dy dx for this function y. y is equal to sine to the fifth of cosine of 3x. This is a chain rule problem, so the very first thing we want to do is say, okay, what's the very outside function? Uh, or what's the thing here, if I were plugging this into a calculator, that would happen last? So what I would do is I would multiply x by 3, cosine it, sine that, and then raise to the fifth. So in other words, what I have here is I have something raised to the fifth power. The something is sine of cosine of 3x. That's raised to the fifth. So if I have something raised to the fifth, the derivative of something raised to the fifth is five somethings to the fourth. So that's what I need to write down first. So this is dy over dx is equal to five somethings. In this case, the something is sine of cosine of 3x, sine of cosine of 3x. Put that in parentheses just to make clear. Raised to the fourth. Now, if you want to, you can write the four out here. If you want to, you can write the four right here. Uh, for consistency, I'll just write it in right here. Now, if you don't like this very much, and you don't like thinking about it this way, it's tricky for you having the 5 right there, just remember that this is the same as sine of cosine of 3x quantity raised to the fifth. This is just the fancy math notation for putting this 5 up here. So don't worry about if you don't like it here, then rewrite it this way and do it this way. Because then it's maybe more obvious that this is the inside raised to the fifth power. So what's the derivative of the inside raised to the fifth? It's 5 sine t cosines of 3x raised to the fourth. So if you like the 4 there, perfect. If you like the 4 out here, perfect. Either way is fine. Okay. So now we have to ask the question, we took the first piece, we took the derivative of the outside function, and now we have to ask, okay, now we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside. But in this case, the inside was sine of cosine of 3x. So we have to multiply by the derivative of sine of cosine of 3x. Well, what's the outside most function here? The sine. And so we needed to take the derivative of sine of something. The derivative of sine of something is cosine of something. The something in this case being the cosine of 3x. Then we need to multiply by the derivative of the inside. We need to multiply by the derivative of cosine of 3x. Well, the derivative of cosine of something is negative sine of that something. But then we need to multiply by the derivative of the something. And the derivative of 3x is 3. Now, this chain rule problem had several steps to it. And it's easy to get confused if you're not thinking about it very clearly. So let's go through it one more time just to make sure that we understand every single step. I had something sine of cosine of 3x raised to the fifth power. So I take the derivative of something to the fifth as five somethings to the fourth. I'm done with the outside. Now I have to multiply by the derivative of the something. So what's the derivative of sine of cosine of 3x? Well, the outside function is sine. So the derivative of sine is cosine, and I leave the rest the same. But now I need to multiply by the derivative of cosine of 3x. Well, the derivative of cosine of 3x is negative sine of 3x. But now I need to multiply by the derivative of the 3x, which is 3. And I'm done. 